my channel my name is Franca and I'm glad you're here because today we have a little bit of a problem and that problem is currently my life it is a disaster for the most part and today we're gonna try and fix that with a vision board if you don't know what a vision board is basically it's a photo representation of all of the things you desire in life and this is all made possible through manifestation and the law of attraction so the law of attraction is basically if you put positive thoughts energy whatever you want to call it into the universe you will get positive results in return but this can also work with the negative thoughts going out into the universe and getting negative results in return and then manifestation is turning something theoretical like a dream a desire a want into reality so now that we know a little bit more about vision boards we can get started on making our own to create a vision board all you're gonna need is bristol board some photos scissors and tape and you're all good to go if you prefer to do yours online canva is an amazing choice they are a photo editing app that is catered towards social media. With one simple click, I was able to find a multitude of vision board templates, which range from photo templates to actual writing templates. And honestly, you could find any desired aesthetic that you were looking for on here. All that's left to do for our vision board is cut out the photos and tape them to the Bristol board. Pinterest is where I found all the photos for my vision board, and I highly suggest you do the same. Pinterest is an amazing spot to find aesthetic photos, and you can literally find one for any aesthetic you wish to do. For my vision board, I wanted to all have the same theme or color palette, so I decided that I would just search up photos on here. So I decided to choose the color blue. So behind every image that I chose, let's say I wanted a camera, I just put light blue behind it and found the photo that corresponded with it. TikTok is another amazing place to find inspiration. Like this TikTok, there are a lot of places that show you amazing places around the world where you can travel. And honestly, they're great bucket list places that you probably want to add to your bucket list as well. Then there are TikToks like these that show you bucket list items, things you want to do, things you want to see throughout your lifetime. And honestly, I love this TikTok because it has a lot of the things that I want to do within my life. And TikTok is amazing for finding bucket list things. And there's even small summer bucket lists, winter bucket lists, things to do with friends, things to do at school. Honestly, there are so many of these types of videos out there that you are bound to find one that you can resemble or one that you even like. As someone who has created a multitude of vision boards in the past that fail and don't work, I think I've learned a lot of things about how to make a vision board that actually works. So let me give you some tips. Tip number one is to put it somewhere you're going to see it. And this is something that literally everyone will tell you. And as someone who has thrown their vision board in the back of the closet and literally never saw it again for a couple months, by putting it somewhere you see it, you'll always be reminded every day at what you are working towards in life and you will see all your goals for the year shown to you every single day. Tip number two is to incorporate long-term and short-term goals into your vision board. In the past, I put a bunch of things that I'm only able to complete when I'm like 30 and a millionaire. So putting long-term and short-term goals on there, things you can actually complete within the year. By doing this, you will have small things that are easy to complete and it will help to encourage you to complete all your goals as you'll slowly be checking off those easy things and then you'll realize wow this isn't as daunting as it seemed before and this is actually pretty easy you will also be more inclined to keep going tip number three is that although you're using the law of attraction and manifestation to help make these dreams come true you'll actually need to make steps towards achieving these goals let's say for example one of my goals on my vision board was to be more organized if I didn't do anything and I just sat in my bed and watched everything pile up, never do laundry, buy more things, have unboxed things and things like that, and my room 
continued to stay a mess. I would never be organized, but if I took the steps to become organized and I cleaned up, I did my laundry, I put things in the garbage, I didn't throw things on the floor, then I would be taking those steps to achieve my goal of becoming organized. Tip number four is that if you journal, a good idea would be to write down everything you want to put on your vision board in your journal and then write down why you want those things. What is the motivation behind wanting those things? By doing this, this will help if you ever feel discouraged throughout the year and don't want to continue with your vision board, you can always flip back and see why you started or why you wanted these things. This is a great way to help keep you motivated and make you feel like you're actually achieving something. Here is the finished product. It looks so pretty, but let me take you on a tour. In the top corner, I have the 2023 logo for the year. Below that, I have some clothes on a hanger for me wanting to create my own walk-in closet. I have the CN Tower on here because my mom has promised me that we will walk up the steps to the CN Tower, dine at the 360 Diner, and do the edge walk. Next, I have some pretty notes because I really need to learn how to study properly. Below that, we have a car because a girly really needs to learn how to drive because she cannot park. Next, I have this phone screen because I broke my phone and I really need a new one. Underneath that, I have a girl with dyed hair. I don't want to dye my hair blue, been there, done that, but I do want to dye my hair and I needed it to fit with the theme. Then we have a photo of some office supplies because I really want to be more organized this year. Then we have a photo of a blue goalie mask because I want to get better at hockey. Then we have this YouTube logo because I want to be a YouTuber. Then we have this photo of a whole bunch of random things. I searched glow up on Pinterest and this is what came up, so I want to have a glow up. Next, we have a picture of these University of Buffalo cookies because I hope to go there in the fall. Then we have this photo of the water because I'd really love to learn how to swim this year. Next, I have this book with petals on it because I want to read more this year. We have this blue bedroom on here because I really want to redo my bedroom. I have this photo of this girl in this workout set because because I really want to work out, but if that doesn't work, hopefully I can buy cute workout outfits so that it'll inspire me. Next, I have this girl with a blue sweater because I really want to find my style this year. Then I have this photo of writing because I really want to write my own book this year, or at least try to. I really like writing, so I'd really like to continue doing that. I have these nails on here because I am an avid nail biter and I literally have no nails left, but I'd really like to get my nails done so I can stop biting my nails. Then then we have a photo of this plane because I'd really love to travel the world one day. Then I have this photo of two girls because I'd really love to spend more time with friends this year and force them to do a whole bunch of fun things with me. The last thing I have on here are quotes. This one says, remember why you started. This one says, just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it never will. This one says, it's not always easy, but it's always worth it. This one just says, you are enough. This one says, if you never try, you'll never know. This one says, believe in yourself, darling. And lastly, we have this one that says, do more of what makes you happy. And I really want to try and do things that make me happy this year. So yeah, this is my vision board. Clearly, one of my goals this year was to become a YouTuber. So if you're watching this video, clearly I am actually doing it. As someone who gets discouraged really quickly, I really wanted a way to make me feel like I'm being held accountable and if I don't do these things there will be consequences or there's going to be a reaction that I won't like. So I thought a great way to do this to kill two birds with one stone would be to create a YouTube channel and create a series which I will be calling Becoming 20 because I will be turning 20 at the end of this year. And within this series, I will be doing all of the things that I have on my vision board, completing tasks and such. On today's episode, we focused on becoming a YouTuber. So today we can check that off our 2023 vision board to-do list. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've gotten this far, you're a trooper. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, feel free to leave a hate comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinion. To kick off my YouTube channel, I really want to post a video every day this week at 2 p.m. So mark your calendars. And then after that, I will be posting every Friday at 2 p.m. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. And I hope you join me on my journey of becoming 20.
Thank you.